Okay, so this week I'm going to show you how to do uh, how I want the writing done. So here we go, we've got the week seven writing. Uh, we click on that, and obviously up comes uh, the instructional video of what we're uh, focusing on. Uh, then obviously underneath that there'll be a video of what this is. Um, now the example is I've put up here. Okay, uh, that you do do not, do not copy and paste that. You have to make it that. So it looks like that. So from our video, um, this is what it's going to look like. So one, and I identified the who and the blue as the rhymer. Two, the green and mean. Three, mate and late. Four, pony and Tony. Okay. I haven't done four um, four uh, couplets. I just decided to do two. Um, now, so for my first rhyming couplet, um, I've got who and the blue. So there was an old man wandering down the street feeling very blue. So once again, I've got the blue there. Only one thing could cheer him up. That was the world famous Doctor Who. Number two is green and mean. A poor child at school was being bullied by some kids that were very mean. The poor child sent out help from the Hulk as no one messes with a man that is green. Okay. Um, so as you notice, I've got the blue and the who at the end and the mean and the green at the end. So that is how um, we need to do it. Now, obviously, then you will write your third poem and then your fourth poem. Okay. So for the first two days, uh, that is what the task will be. For the for next two days, um, it'll be pretty. It'll be basically similar, but you'll be creating sort of two lots. So you'll have um, so technically one and two will become a rhyming cup, uh, rhyming quatrain, and three and four will be another quatrain. But you'll be doing three quatrains, okay? Um, but that is how I want it set up. Uh, so for the first couple of days. We just need one, two, three, and four. And then after I've seen some awesomeness, um, basically your one and two become a quatrain, um, and then your three and four become a quatrain, and then obviously you extend yourself by writing another one. So you'll need um, five and six basically, um, and they'll all become one. So pretty much what I've given as an example uh, could be a bit of a quatrain, um, but I would rather see it um, with all one um, story storyline um, so that is roughly what I want you to do and then obviously you will do that down here in your week seven writing so obviously it'll start off as like this so you'll have your one then you'll write your rhyming words so go um, and no all right so number two um, feel feel okay and then so on and then you'll write your rhyming couplets uh, down like that so that is uh, how easy our writing will be to set out this week. Um, as I said, the first couple of days, um, rhyming couplets, and then after that it will be the uh, rhyming quatrains. Uh, so hopefully uh, we go well in that. Thank you.